Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so, as of today, I'm going to make a video of this plane a little bit. Some of you were asking about a build video. Um, I did make it a long time ago. I've heard I've had this plane um, roughly about six months now, I think. Um, I've had really good luck with it. A lot of people said they had issues um, with the blue box or whatever. It's basically a control box that you plug your wires in so you don't need so many wires inside the plane because it can get you can get a rat's nest in there. But anyway, um, so yeah. Um, first, I'm going to go through it a little bit, tell you certain things about it, what I've done and how I fly it. Um, so yeah, let me just turn it on here real quick. I got the trusty Spectrum DX8. That's the controller I use. I like Spectrum. I prefer Spectrum. Just I feel like they're very easy to use. Um, I mean, I'm sure any radio you get used to, you can get used to anything. But let's plug her in here. Now I use um. Pro 6000 6S battery. That's a, the biggest one you're I, able to fly in this plane, really. I mean, um, you can't really fit anything bigger because you need your wires, your plug. They've got to be able to fit in there. Um, so, yeah, that's what I fly in here. Um, so, yeah, I <clears throat> can show you a little bit here. Elevators and stuff. Now I have mine pretty much at a hundred percent rate, usually high rate, all of it, um, and hundred percent throw as well. Rudders I have, um, I think I have hundred percent on them, and then twenty percent expo. And on the flaps here, I don't know if you can see. I will Let's see if I can spin them around a little bit. Take the flaps. Let's take off flaps, and once I put the landing flaps on, you'll see that my elevator pitches up a little bit. Now that's just to compensate because when you put those flaps on all the way, the plane actually does go down with the flaps a little bit. It, yes, it does give it more lift, but it just gets kind of a nose down angle. And then the elevators, I made them so they go up a little bit to keep the plane more level. You'll see a twitch in the elevator. See. There you see the twitch. Now, I, don't, I haven't slowed it down yet, but usually it doesn't give a crazy reaction at all. Um, so yeah, that's those are my flaps. They're almost 100% down. I think they're about 85. Um, I don't have them all the way down, but they're plenty for me. Um, and then my ailerons, I think I have about 100% as well. And now I did break one of my landing gear. I only I fly on a, a highway here in Hill Spring, Alberta. Um, so I land on my high, a local highway here, and it's I mean it's yeah it's 20, 20 feet wide or so I should probably, but um, it's still a tight runway. You gotta really line it up straight. And the one day it was a tiny bit windy, I had a crosswind, came in a little bit at an angle, and she ran off the highway, hit the ditch sideways a little bit, and dug into a piece of grass and one of the gears broke out, but I was able to just push it back in, got some glue in there, and got me the exact color of paint. You could hardly tell, like I'm pretty sure if I lift this thing up, um, I don't know, you can really tell. You can see right on the bottom here, and there's a little bit of, and I just need to sand that yet, fill it in, and it should look brand new again. But other than that, nothing ever got damaged. The wings obviously have been scraped the tiniest bit here and there on the bottoms, but that's kind of normal. It's, it's a tricycle and it doesn't it doesn't flip over very easy, but once you're going at high speed and trying to keep it straight on the highway, it does fall over a little bit. But um, other than that, I've had really good luck. Um, it's a really really fast plane. I haven't personally measured the speed of it, but um, as far as I've heard or read on the hobby form, um, this thing will get you with a dive or just nice smooth flight. You can get somewhere in the range between 160 to 200 miles an hour. 
So that is really, really fast. But yeah, that's kind of the experiences I've had. Um, I've flown it quite a few flights. I don't know, I haven't counted, but um, so far really good plane. It's really fun to fly. And uh, yeah, it's always exciting. Um, let me just show you the landing gear here. I don't know if, uh, let's see if I can just hold it. Do it like that. Just flip the switch. Well, those are just spring loader doors. They're not um, sequence doors. Um, they're not. They don't have any servos in them. But yeah, works pretty good so far. And then once you put those wheels in, this sure thing. This thing sure really takes off and flies really fast. But yeah, and then you got the hinge hinge flaps. I don't know if you can see there, but if I put the flaps all the way down, you can kind of see through the whole plane like on the real one. Here comes the gear. And ready to land. So yeah, there you go. I will pop the um here, let me just show you. I mean, you won't be able to see it fly, but she, she roars pretty good. Yeah, no, I don't want to do full throttle in here. It creates a dust storm. Um, but yeah, that's the plane, and if you guys are interested in it, guys, if you want a good plane to fly, it, yes, it's a pricey plane. I paid about uh, what was it, four hundred and eighty dollars for it? But for what you get, it's a good bang for your buck. Um, not easy to fly, guys. This is not a beginner. This takes a lot of practice to fly this thing. Now, I started on the low F fifteen there. That was my jet before I got this. Now, yes, it is very similar to the big one, but that one has a way way bigger wing. This is scale to the real model, that one is not. So that one flies a lot easier, glides more. This one has a lot of speed and doesn't fly quite as well. Which, I mean, for an F-18, they need a lot of speed to eat the real one. They fly like crazy fast, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I will pop in the video of the build. It's not very long, it's just a quick build. I did a hyperlapse build. Um, it just takes long, building the whole thing. thing. I think it took me about two, two and a half hours, I think. So yeah, that's to put everything together. And, and yeah, so yeah, enjoy the build video and we'll see you on the next one.